Hey guys, Emma Ray back again, and this time I thought I'd share with you my NECA Gremlin collection. I uh, had a bunch of them in package the other day and opened them up. And uh, along with those, I have a few of my older Gremlin figures also by NECA. There goes Gizmo. That was an older NECA figure. Along with uh, Stripe and one of the uh, other classic Gremlins back there. So these are all by NECA. And then the other Mogwais from Gremlin 2 are right here. This is Mohawk. And uh, I guess this is the Commando version of uh, Gizmo. You have Daffy, George, Lenny, and over here, the gremlin side. We have the uh, brown gremlin. He came with some shades. They're kind of hard to put on over his eyes, so I just kind of have them sitting there around his neck. And I believe this is like the phantom... Uh, Gremlin, you can see half of his face was burned by acid, which is funny. He has a vial of acid there. It says, do not throw in face. But of course, you know, he had some thrown in his face. And he comes with a funny little Gremlin Phantom of the Opera style mask. Oops, let me fix this guy. He's about to fall over. And over here, um, we have the uh, Gremlin version of uh, Daffy. And uh, he had some uh, party glasses, kind of like the Groucho Marx style, you know, funny glasses with a nose. But he fell over and I dropped them somewhere in my mess, so I can't find it right now. There's a little New Year's party horn. And here we have the gremlin version of uh, Mohawk. Big bad Mohawk. Let me move these guys over. There goes George. Again, there's the uh, Mogwai version. And then this is him in gremlin form. I like him, he looks like a frog. <laughs> Comes with a little cigar. And back there we have Lenny with his buck teeth. Just like his uh, Mogwai form. Comes with a red tie. It would have been neat if the tie was a uh, cloth or fabric material. And back there we have a funny stripping gremlin with a trench coat. Again, the trench coat would have been neat if it was fabric, but they molded it in a soft uh, rubber material. So it's, it's still pretty flexible, so you can still get some decent poses out of that. So let me try to move some of these guys over. Oops. And what's neat about these newer gremlins is that uh, on the back they have a little knob and when you move it around you get the eyes to rotate which is really neat. So again all of these newer figures have that feature which is really neat. Let's see, there we go. Oops. But with the older version Pretty much had the painted on eyes, so he's not as cool and not as articulated as these newer versions. This is a favorite of mine. I'm going to keep him in package because he was a uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive version of uh, Gizmo. 
comes with a San Diego Comic Con badge right there. And his Comic Con goodie bag. Some shades. And on the back, you know, that's what he looks like. He can have them in his bag. And a bunch of the other characters there. So, yeah, really cool figures. Great posability. I mean, they move right at the shoulders, right at the uh, elbow joint, at the hands, neck, uh, the legs. So pretty good articulation out of these little guys. And I got this guy a while ago. This is a singing gizmo. The face is kind of flat, but uh, let me see if I can turn them on real quick. There he goes. Kind of a neat little thing. So, yeah, I mean, a cult favorite. You know, I always enjoyed this movie when I was younger. And they never had the cool toys back then. But now, you know, NECA has done an excellent job of recreating a bunch of these characters. And, uh, you know, I'm glad to have a collection of these now. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I might touch up some of these guys, repaint them a little bit to make them look a little more realistic. But overall, NECA did a pretty amazing job with the details, as you can see. And I just love all the spots and color variations. You know, they did the veins and the ears. You know, just, just excellent work. You know, just the patterns on the back. Just a good job of making them all as unique as possible. He still has his little tab on the back, but, uh, can still move the eyes around. There we go. There we go. A lot easier without the tab. Ooh. So that's pretty much it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Keep on collecting. Bye.